Welcome to my world here on YouTube. I'm your host, Moses Bochamp, coming at you from wonderful South Jersey. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and be sure to hit that bell like that you are notified whenever we go live or upload today's topic is Donald Trump was Donald Trump you know being elected to be in office was that a sign for us as Americans to repent or maybe I should say Christians people who believe in, in Christ was that a time for um for us to repent check it out Donald Trump did a lot when he was in office you know what I'm saying right before he left office he um pardoned Lil Wayne and Kodak Black I mean and, and y'all still saying that this man is racist you know what I'm saying but that's another story for another day my question is was Donald Trump being in office was that a sign for us to repent shout out to Mr. Uh, Marcus Rogers I'm about, I'm about to share this video that um that he uh that he put together I'm about to share it with with my audience and y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section so i had to talk about this i see lady gaga she's doing the inauguration we already know she's a witch right i've talked about her many times before you see it in her music you see the paganism you see the symbolism you know the costumes all of that stuff and i know some christians oh it's just entertainment nah it's straight up demonic it's straight up witchcraft right and so uh she's connected to marina amarovich i've talked about her as well she's the soul food cooker who makes the the bodies with the decapitated heads and the celebrities are going there eating these bloody bodies and stuff and just google her and you'll see she's a straight up witch and so lady gaga's connected with her and then remember when Joe Biden and them were uh, running, they were saying, we're fighting for the soul of the nation. So Lady Gaga comes out in this Hunger Games outfit and you're looking at it and it's like, wait, this isn't like, oh, it kind of looks like it. She got the pin on and everything. What is it? The Mockingjay and everything. And she's dressed like that woman who was like uh, observing and overseeing the, the tributes or whatever it was called. And then everybody around Lady Gaga dressed like it's the Hunger Games. And I'm like, I can't be the only one who sees this. I can't be the only Christian who sees this. This chick is literally mocking us. This witch is literally mocking us. Because, because spiritual warfare it. is real. I see it. Witches are real. And it's like, I'm looking at it and I'm saying, no, she's mocking Christians. She's mocking us. And some of you gonna be like, oh, uh, here you go again. You overdoing it. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think I'm overdoing it. I, 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 it's not a coincidence, right? It's not like, mm, she was, you know, oh, just happened, her outfit kind of happened. She got the pin on and everything. And then if you think about what that movie is about and what that story is about, and then these people have these communist ideas and, and they control and all of that kind of stuff. I'm like, man, wake up. I can't, I can't really take nobody their, their spiritual advice serious if they can't see what I'm talking about. I feel like people just be so into what they feel. They don't want to see it. They don't want to believe it. There was literally witches this whole time. Witches praying. Satan, please get, get Trump out of office. Praying. Why? Spirit of the Antichrist roaming the earth, the Bible already says. What's the first thing Joe Biden does when he gets in office the first day? What's the first kind of legislation that he pushed? It's no way you could dance around it or move around it. He pushed antichrist legislation day one, period. It's no way a Christian could get around what he did. It's anti-God, no doubt about it. But you don't want to talk about it. People don't want to be real. 
something is up, man. Spiritual warfare is real. And something just, it's not, it's not sitting right in my spirit. When you think about, and I know people gonna laugh and they're gonna mock and they say, oh, you know, Brother Marcus don't went off the deep end again. Nah, man. They mocked when Jesus died. They were laughing. People were celebrating. We're gonna have revival regardless. And you know what? We're going to pray for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris because they souls. That's what the Bible says. But I'm telling you, something is up. And a lot of people are just hoping, oh, life going to go back to 2017. Life, the, a lot of people, they're trying to make power moves right now. They said they're fighting for the soul of the nation. They're right. They're going to make power moves in legislation. And we're going to see what's up. And I'm not saying it's going to turn into the Hunger Games. But I'm telling you. The devil is laughing and Christians are blind. I'll say this, you know, I, I wanted Trump to win again because of exactly what I see happening now. Maybe I got in my feelings about it a little bit too much. Looking at my kids and stuff, I'm like, man, you know, the bathroom stuff, the transgender stuff. Obviously it didn't happen right now. And Biden is in. I can't be the only one who see this. Witches is real, man. Demons, all that stuff is real. We better be praying, saints. Spiritual warfare, we better be praying. Regardless of what side you feel that you are on or that you identify with, you better identify with the kingdom. It's a war going on. And I think a lot of people, they don't want to admit that. They don't want to admit how serious it is. The Bible says when you see these things happen and look to the sky for your redemption, draw a nigh. We better repent. And I've been saying this for years. Trump was assigned to repent. Look at everything that happened when Trump got in. Everything got shook up. Church got shook up. Prophetic voices got shook up. Everything, everything, everybody, everybody's flaw. Everybody got issues. Everybody got flaws. But did we really repent? America. I can't be the only one who see this. I'll be blessed, be encouraged in Jesus' name. I see it with you, brother. I see it. I see it. What y'all think? What y'all think? What that brother was saying there? about we built polio verify what's going on right now give me a second let me clear this up but yeah what y'all what what y'all think let's talk about it in the comment section below what y'all think was donald trump being in office a sign for us as americans to repent Let's talk about it. That brother there made a lot of sense. And I agree with a lot of what he was saying. Let's talk about it below in the comment section. What love, my good peoples. I'll catch y'all in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, that bell, like that you are notified. Whenever I go live or I upload, hit that like button. And let's talk about it. Was Donald Trump being in office a sign for us as Americans or if you're a Christian, as Christians, to repent? It's open for discussion. One love on good peoples. Y'all be blessed.